all right vlogs vlogs i uh i'm pretty sure i remember how to do this how's it going everybody you found in tune is here with another episode of nin vlogist i'm making this as just another one of my many multitudes of excuse videos there always comes a time where I make like a vlog or like a Team Fortress 2 post commentary video announcing that Oh, I've got a whole bunch of new videos planned. I got a whole bunch of new stuff to make. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make that. I'm making a video right now as I make this one. There's so much new content coming. And then I just don't typically post anything for a while. And that right now isn't necessarily the case as I just finished posting a two week long uh, Luigi's Mansion Let's Play with Dennis, which was Super fun to make, it turned out hilarious. The quality was iffy, but no, no, honestly, the quality was great. And I highly recommend you watch that Let's Play if you want a good laugh. I recommend episode all of them. But yeah, like, I just, I sort of feel the same way that, like, I normally do when, like, I go a while without posting videos. And that's because I've gone a while without making one. See, the Luigi's Mansion Let's Play, I edited almost all at once and uploaded a new one every day for about two weeks straight starting on Halloween and um, ever since then I haven't really made anything new and I promised that I was gonna make some new stuff and I did make one uh, top 10 video I might post it sometime during this week because it is done I mean I have no reason not to post it I've just been so lazy and like pedantic recently and that is what I'm going to explain to you now I haven't been making the type of content that I normally make you know, like the Smashing Sundays videos I used to make, like Mario Maker videos, Overwatch videos, Team Fortress videos, pretty much all the stuff that, that I announced that I was going to make in my latest channel trailer, which is pretty funny considering that I posted that channel trailer and then just posted a Let's Play of an entirely different game instead. That was pretty stupid of me. But, um, yeah, the reason I haven't been making those kinds of videos is because I've been struggling recently. And, um, by struggling recently, I don't necessarily mean, like, academically or anything, but you can sort of, like, put it on that as well, because ever since I started going to my new school back in September, it was just, it's been a big adjustment for me, and, like, there's been a whole lot of change, and you know the kinds of tolls that that takes on a person, you, you understand, and I've had some anxiety because of that, but, um, about two weeks ago, I had some pretty pretty severe anxiety. See, when I was a child, when I was 10 years old, I watched a horror movie with my cousins. I watched Freddy vs. Jason with them, and that really messed me up for a little bit because I was like 10 years old, super violent, scary movie with these monsters just, just stabbing like these horny teenagers in the face because like they were having sex. Oh, you're too young for that. Fuck you. I'm gonna stab you. And it sort of messed me up. And I saw a psychiatrist when I was a kid because of it, and she helped me so, so, so much with it, and this was a long time ago, but the point I'm trying to make here is that I haven't felt as anxious as I have. I, what am I saying? I hadn't felt that anxious the way that I have, like, a couple of weeks ago, since, like, I was 10 years old. It was bad. Now, there are a couple of factors as to why this was. I mean, it was partly because of, like, me going to school. I had some new anxieties regarding that anyway, but the main reason was I got sick like, the same night the election results came in, and that just did a number on me pretty, pretty severely. And my anxiety was bad, man, because the media likes to try and make everything seem like the world is gonna end, like, tomorrow. They always do that, and, like, I, I talk with my therapist about it sometimes, like, Sort of in the third person effect, if you will. I actually learned about this in my communications class. The third person effect is when you believe that the media affects everybody except you. Like, you're smart enough and you're above that. And at a certain point, like, I realized that and I thought, like, I thought that was true. But it's honestly not true. The media affects everybody and people believe so much of the propaganda on it, supporting whatever candidate, whatever lies were told about, like, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump or whatever candidate, you know? All, like, the hyperbole and the bullshit. It just was so much. And I think I realized I was explaining that to my therapist so much because I was trying to convince myself of that because, like, it affected me bad. Like, during, like, uh, about two weeks ago, for one week, I'm not even kidding, guy, I, I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat. I wasn't sleeping either. I was taking, like, a Xanax every night just so I could sleep. It was honestly, honestly bad. I was having severe anxiety, and I didn't feel better until, like, I talked to him again, which was fantastic. Although the day before that, 
uh, there is this girl in my voice class that, uh, she was hosting, like, a meditation thing, and I meditated for the first time, which I gotta recommend to you is pretty amazing. Meditation is awesome. Like, that was the most zen and the most calm I felt in a while. Like, I've been meaning to, like, learn how to meditate and start meditating for a while, but I never exactly knew how. And then I was just fortunate enough to meet this girl, and she, like, was hosting this thing. So I went and, like, I meditated, and it was... It was something. I'm fine now. Like, don't worry about me. Like, I'm fine now. Like, I'm being just slowly every day. I'm getting better, and I'm being reminded of the things in my life that matter and that you can get through anything by believing, you know? Like, all the corny crap that you see in Disney movies, but in the back of your mind, you, you know is true. You know what I'm saying? And I think part of my anxiety stemmed from me not being able to make videos as well, because I my schedule's been really off recently, and I've been doing these longer Let's Plays that I record and edit, like, almost in, like, two sittings, just because, like, they let me get content out every day, like, much easier, you know, rather than making, like, a Mario Maker video every week, or a Smashing Sundays video every week, or a brand new Overwatch video every week. It's a lot easier to do that, and I've been needing to do that recently because of school. And I think the biggest reason I've been so anxious because of school is because making videos has filled such a void in my life. I've always wanted to do it since I was a kid. I've told you guys that so many times. I've told you guys that, and... There was a point where I just couldn't do it as often as I'd like to, or as often as I felt like I needed to in order to just garner the following that I want to achieve, which I still haven't even gotten too much closer to this year. I mean, I did make great progress this year, but not nearly as great of progress as I would have liked to see. And that's been making me anxious because, like, I've, I haven't been able to do that. I haven't been able to make videos as often as I'd like to, and there were some points where I wasn't able to make them, like, at all. And during my, like, anxiety trips last week, I've just been burying my face in YouTube videos and streamers just to disconnect myself with this crazy world and all that stuff. Because, like, and as of recently, and I was reminded of this by myself and my therapist and just my mom, who has just been a beacon during my anxiety. Give, give a hug to your mom if, like, if your mom is around or if you have your mom. Just shout out to all the moms out there, man. Moms are... Moms are awesome, and I don't mean that in a perverted sense, so just get your mind out of the gutter if that's what you th what you thought. And I was reminded that I needed to take the world off my shoulders. And that shit just really isn't that bad, you know? Like, you look at the news and, like, everything tries to make everything seem like it's so terrible and all that stuff. And a lot of the times, it really isn't, you know? And I... 2014 and 2015 in Tunist was like my best me, I believe. Spiritually, I was exactly where I would like to be because I've gotten more secular as I've gotten older, but when I was a kid, I used to be like, like balls to the wall religious, like, like, and it wasn't like healthy, like either, like I lost friends because of it, like it was bad. And, you know, like a couple years ago, I was at like the perfect middle ground, you know, and it was perfect. And like, I don't know what I'm going off about right now, Jesus. And what I'm really counting on is a good 2017 and a good future. And I'm going to talk about the ways that I'm going to try and make that a good future because the future is just in your hands. You should know that because 2014, 2015 in Tunis, those were just such better years. You know, like they were just such smoother transitions. And right now I'm in the middle of a transition. This is my first semester at a new college and that's big for me, you know, and I know I'm just going through that as well. And... 2016 was just not a good year for me. I'm gonna be frank. I mean, I made great academic strides, but it has just not been a good year for me. Because first of all, I didn't get laid, which sucks. That makes any year bad. And two, we've had this horrible election cycle. This has had to have been... This had to have been the worst presidential election in the history of the country. Like, neither candidate, like, talked about the good they're actually going to do once elected. They just smeared each other just to make themselves look better by comparison. And they forgot to, like, realize that that still makes you look like a turd. Like, you gotta clean yourself first, you know what I'm saying? You gotta clean yourself. Like, I could just talk about Alpharad and how much I think Alpharad is a shitty YouTuber. Is that gonna make me look better by comparison? No, you're just gonna think I'm an asshole because, like, I'm just shit-talking this other YouTuber. And that's what politics is. That's what politics has become. And it's what turns so many young kids off from politics, but that's what those big politicians want. They don't want you to vote because they know how shitty they are, and I am going off on something right now that is completely different. Point is, uh, because of my new schooling, the, mainly the election and just the media hype all getting to me, 
I've suffered from some pretty bad anxieties the past uh, two weeks. I'm fine now. I'm eating again. I'm eating plenty. I'm getting sleep just fine. It's all good. But I just want you guys to know that is why there hasn't been like brand new content. I've been struggling mentally recently. It's just been the fallout of like the grand like fallout of Nintunis from him having just the shit year that he's been having. He didn't make too many strides with his YouTube channel either. I just feel like I didn't like I feel like I didn't like gain too much this year or make too many good strides towards my future even though I did. I ma I made such academic great academic strides. I mean, I got my associate's degree this year, which everybody told me was such an amazing accomplishment, but me being the humble piece of shit that I am, like, I just took it on stride. Just like, eh, it's, it's all right, whatever. Yeah, I, I did a thing, no big deal, bleh. And that's what so many people forget. Just because that, like, a chapter in your life is ending, that doesn't mean it's the end of the entire book. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many people forget that, and uh, I'm just glad that, like, I'm smart enough to know that I just gotta believe and that, you know, it's not the end. It's not the end at all. I'm only 20 years old. What am I freaking out about? I have like a midlife crisis every time I have like a new birthday. Like, even when I was four, like my mother told me that, like, you freaked out when you turned four into Tunis. And I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah, I didn't want to be four. I didn't fucking want to be four. I wanted to stay three. I'm gonna die, man. Like I'm four years old. Jesus Christ. Might as well just build the coffin, like build the grave now. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. I've just been worrying about so many things that are out of my control and that's not healthy. The future, the future is not written. Lucina told me that, shout outs to Lucina. <laughs> but yeah, the future is not written, you understand? And I don't know, like I've just been worrying about so many things that are out of my control, but recently I was reminded of who I once was, just this day-to-day -day person who knew how blessed he was and like how good his life was and how bright of a future that he wanted to have and how bright of a future that he planned to have and I, that just got lost in translation because the media today does not promote a healthy mindset and it just puts the weight of the entire world like on your shoulders and that's just not healthy at a certain point it's just not healthy and it sucks because sometimes you need to stay informed but like the media sometimes mostly nowadays doesn't help you do that because they're biased or just uninformed or they take sides or they just sometimes have no idea what they're talking about but yeah that's the biggest irony of all that is that i'm a communication and media major like that's the biggest <laughs> irony of all that is that i'm a major in this fucking field which is insane but yeah i have had severe anxieties recently but I'm getting better every day. I feel fantastic. Past couple of days, I felt fantastic. I'm not taking any medication. I'm eating again. I'm sleeping again. I'm fine. I'm not making this video to tell you guys to worry about me. That is not what I'm saying at all. Whew, now that I got that all out of the way, I have some announcements. Me and Dennis recently finished playing Luigi's Mansion and immediately afterwards, we wanted to do another Let's Play. So we did. It's not done yet. I mean, we're still doing it, but that's, uh. That's why there's Paper Mario music in the background of this vlog. Me and him are in the middle of playing Paper Mario, and it's gonna be a brand new Let's Play on the channel, but unlike Luigi's Mansion, I'm not just gonna keep announcing this Let's Play and just, like, just keep, like, reeling it on, reeling it on, like, oh, there's gonna be a brand new Let's Play, and uh, we're gonna release it all at once when it comes out like I did with Luigi's Mansion. I'm not gonna do that, because Paper Mario is a really long game. So instead, uh, I'm just gonna take the footage of the recording session that we did, like, time within like the next week or like the week after that or something and then there's not going to be paper mario vids for a bit until the next time me and him play paper mario and then we're going to do another recording session and then just post all of those following suits so it's just going to be an ongoing let's play that's going to be on my channel for a while just so like i can actually post it to you guys and share it with you guys instead of just continuously egging you on like there's going to be a new let's play that and I couldn't fit, like, you know, however many episodes of Paper Mario they're gonna be, like, on my hard drive in the meantime. Like, I wouldn't be able to make any other videos in the meantime. And I do plan on making other videos in the meantime, like Top 10 list. I have another one coming out tomorrow, actually. There's a brand new Top 10 list coming out. I hope you guys enjoy it. I worked super hard on it, had tons of fun making it, and I hope you guys enjoy that, too. But yeah, due to school, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to post videos in the same way that I normally do. Like, in the schedule that I normally have, like, oh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. So what I'm going to do 
is occasionally just post videos on my channel whenever I can, like whatever top 10 list I decide to make, or if it's an episode of Paper Mario. And in between that, I am going to start streaming. A lot of people have told me that I should start streaming on Twitch, and I never wanted to because I thought Twitch streaming was just... I, I liked the production, like, quality value of, like, making YouTube videos better than, like, Twitch channels. Because, like, on Twitch, you just had, like, these people that I felt were, like, just not talented at all. Who were just, you had to wait for hours upon hours on end of them just not saying anything and playing a game. And just waiting for the interesting part to happen. Whereas in videos, you could just edit right to the interesting parts and have that come in. But, honestly, for a lot of streamers, I've learned recently that that is not the case. In my anxiety-driven weeks, I've been buried in, like, Twitch and YouTube to distract myself, and I've been watching a lot of streamers, including, like, speedrunners and, like, just, like, smashers, streamers and stuff, and I never really did that. I never appreciated it until, like, then for some reason, and it's inspired me to finally want to start streaming. Like, even though, like, all my friends always tell me that I should, like, oh, because then you're gonna be able to get, like, a Twitch following, like, you'll be able to get some, like, followers on Twitch, and then you could, like, have your YouTube channel on it, show them your YouTube channel and all that stuff, and I never really wanted to do that because I always thought Twitch streaming was just a shittier version of content creation as opposed to YouTube, but I've learned recently that's not the case just from watching all these guys, so... I'm gonna start streaming once I learn how. I'm messing around with OBS right now. I don't exactly know too much about streaming yet. I've had Bandypad actually help me out a little bit, which is awesome. Shoutouts to him. If you're not following him, you absolutely should. Uh, but yeah, in between like my YouTube videos, which are probably going to be less frequent, I have no choice but to make them less frequent than they used to be because I do have school and I do need to focus on school and just furthering my education just so just so my future can be brighter you know what i'm saying i just don't have time to post four times a week most likely i'm just i'm not saying i'm quitting youtube i'm just gonna like post videos on youtube as frequently as i can and make videos like when i have the spare time and in between that when i can't make youtube videos or like i don't have time to make youtube videos i'm probably just going to start streaming which is going to be super fun. I honestly can't wait to do that and have like a stream layout and everything. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it actually. And it's ironic because I always thought it was kind of dumb, but hey, uh, love is an open door. I learned that, uh, I learned that from Tangled. I was from the blonde girl from Tangled, you know, that was, that's from Frozen. What the fuck, man? Ugh, I don't know my Disney. Some of you might be wondering what I'm going to stream. Uh, Mainly Smash Brothers, probably, considering that Super Smash Brothers is my favorite game of all time. I'm probably going to be streaming For Glory. Like, I'm just gonna hop on For Glory and just, like, stream, like, just practice against, like, some really scrubby players. Because I always found myself going on For Glory, and, like, I thought about making videos on it for a while. Like, videos besides Smashing Sundays, which are the Smash Brothers videos that I used to make. But... Sometimes in my spare time before tournaments, I just go on For Glory and practice, like, for a while. And I thought, like... Why am I just sitting here doing this alone in my room? Like, I could be streaming this, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably gonna be streaming other Smash games with my friends as well once I'm able to do that. Like, Project Melee, Melee, because Smash 4 is not the only Smash game I play. I do play other Smash games, so... Yeah, I'm probably gonna be streaming those as well. And one thing I really want to get into, just because I think it's super cool, is speedrunning. I want to find a game that I can speedrun and get into speedrunning for. It's probably, most likely going to be a Mario game. Probably Mario 64, honestly. Like, I want to learn the tricks of Mario 64. Maybe Mario Sunshine. I absolutely want to learn those because it's just going to be fun and I'm going to be able to make so much more content for it in just, like, a new way. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys as to why I haven't been posting as frequently as I used to and that I'm not going to be able to post as frequently as I used to, but that there's going to be, like, a switch or, like, a new balanced level of Nintunis content for you guys. There's gonna be a little bit less YouTube stuff, but the amount of new Twitch stuff that's going to be happening is gonna balance that out and like put that on the same wavelength. So there's not gonna be too much of a change of Nintunis content. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you guys right now. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to pour my heart out once again to you guys, cause you guys are my heart and soul part of my heart and soul. You're, you're in there. You're, you are in the mix somewhere in my big old Nantanusti heart. And that content is going to be different, but I'm going to try and streamline it as absolute best as I can. 
that's pretty much all I gotta say, guys. So thank you for bearing with me this entire time. I'm not good. I'm not just gonna make more vlogs and have like the next video like just be like in two three months and have that video be a vlog as to why there hasn't been content in between those two vlogs. I'm not gonna do that. I do have more stuff for you guys and I'm going to start making it as soon as I can. I just gotta get off my lazy ass and stop thinking about things that I can't change and just focus on myself for once. Like I used to back in 2014, 2015. Those were the best years of Nintunist. Thank you all so much for watching. Links to my social media are down in the description and my Twitch will also be in the description as well. So go ahead and give that a follow. I don't have a sub button yet. I haven't started streaming yet, so I can't exactly get subscribers. I'm still learning about Twitch and the ins and outs and stuff. But yeah, follow me on all my social media. Follow me on Twitch. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys and I will gladly see you next time. Ciao.